Let's hear it. Ozzy Osbourne and Geezer Butler. Ozzy Osbourne and Geezer Butler were in New York, and Tony Iommi was available via Google Plus for a special Sirius XM and YouTube town hall on Tuesday night. Contest winners got to ask generic questions to Black Sabbath, and comedian and host Jim Norton, a noted Sabbath fan, asked questions about the newly released album, 13. While it's unconfirmed at press time, Jim Norton told members of the Black Sabbath Town Hall that the band's new effort, 13, hit number one on the Billboard album charts in 50 countries. You're next. My question's for everybody. What would you say if I can go back to 68, 69 and tell you in 2013 you would have the album number one in 50 countries and still touring the world? We'd probably think you're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. He said, he's saying, would you, would you have uh, believed it if back in 1969 he had said by 2013 you'll have the number one album in 50 countries? Oh, I'm shocked now, to be honest with you. And still torn all over the world. I, I don't know whether I trust it, though, because it's like too much too soon. Wake us up. Notably absent from the chat was any mention to what happened to original drummer Bill Ward, who chose to sit this one out. However, last month, Black Veil Brides talked about what they thought of the new Black Sabbath, band member issues aside. I, uh, I heard the first single. I love it. I'm excited about, I'm excited about it. I think that, you know, um, obviously they've, they've had some issues coming up with, with who is going to be in the band. You know, they've, they've gone through some, uh, some contract issues. And um, I think that anybody that's in a band can understand sort of the, you know, the, the give and take between band members. But I'm excited to see uh, what they come up with. And I love the single that was released. So. Continuing the black theme, Black Label Society frontman and former Ozzy Osbourne guitarist Zach Wilde was asked if he had heard it, and he shared his thoughts. Yeah, it's slamming, man. You know, but I mean, it's just, it's great when all the guys get, whether it's the Stone, Sabbath, or Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, or John Paul Jones going to do something again with Jason or something, that'd be great too, you know what I mean? But yeah, because it's all the music we love, man, you know what I mean? Zach said he talked to Father Osbourne not too long ago, and he said the Prince of Darkness is excited about the new effort. Oh, I talked to him that right before they went out on the tour. He's doing great. He's looking forward to it. He's saying, he's like, the, all the guys are getting along great, so everybody's having a good time. It features original vocalist Ozzy Osbourne, original bassist Geezer Butler, and original guitarist Tony Iommi, with Rage Against the Machine's Brad Wilk laying down drum parts.